Hi everyone, I'm Kiki. Welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do a quick unboxing of this beautiful hat I'm showing you right now, um, as well as some of the free goodies I got for Lunar New Year, including this beautiful envelope, which I'm going to show you more detail in a second, and chocolates. Do -de -do -de -do 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 -de -do 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 Welcome to Kiki's channel. Do -do. Ding ding. So if you guys saw my last vlog at Louis Vuitton, the Come Shop With Me, you guys would have seen that they had this complimentary, beautiful Lunar New Year kind of stand with um, complimentary chocolates and bunny shapes. I think there were four flavors, as well as Lunar New Year red envelopes. And my essay was so kind to give me four boxes. I really didn't expect that. I didn't even realize she gave me that many um, until I opened some of my packages. So I think two were in this bag and then two were in another bag for my repairs. Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. And even the packaging is, I think, magnetized. It's just so beautiful. And if you see how I'm opening it here. <laughs> so if you see here, if you open up the sticker, they have the red envelopes presented in such a beautiful way. And I love how after you've given away... Oh, I'm so sorry, that's my daughter. <laughs> so once you open it, you see the beautiful Louis Vuitton in gold at the bottom, as well as the motif of the rabbit here. I'm guessing they gave me so many because I went on, I think it was Lunar New Year's Eve or Lunar New Year's Day already. So probably they, this was what was left over and they just had to get rid of the stock anyway, but, which is fine by me. Did you guys also receive any? Let me know if you guys got any Chinese New Year complimentary goodies. And here's the tissue paper. It's so gorgeous too and the same motif. Ding ding! So here are the very, very adorable Lunar New Year bunny chocolates in four different flavors. I wonder where they got them from. I know how Van Cleef always orders their, uh, their complimentary chocolates and treats from Paris. Uh, I wonder if this is local or, hmm, not sure. Do you guys know? Oh my gosh, I was so surprised. My sweet, sweet essay might have slipped this for me. Oh my God, because she knows how much I like these things. She is so sweet. I really, really appreciate this, and look at that texture. You can kind of see it in the light. Very cool. I think I'll have it framed or do something with it. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another quick unboxing with you from the same vlog that I did at Louis Vuitton last time. So my previous video, I unboxed the Yayoi Kusama and Louis Vuitton collaboration bando. This time, let's see what it is. Dun, dun, dun. Ta da! So, this hat is from the Jacquard denim collection. And let me just toss this box over to the side. So this is the hat that you guys saw me try on in my vlog last time. It's the denim bucket hat in the, I think this is like the black or noir tone or noir and gray tone. I don't know, I don't think it's reversible, but this is what the inside looks like. And the outside, and I'll do close-up shots in a minute. This is in the size small, I believe. Here we go. And here is the item code. And the S, I think, indicates a size. I believe this hat in particular comes in two sizes, the S size as well as M size. I 
had really wanted to get the Speedy in the same collection. If they had like a Speedy 25 bandolier in the same pattern, the jacquard denim and the gray, that would have been wonderful. The thing holding me back was, I think, the silver hardware. I just really, really prefer gold, especially antique gold, but just generally gold hardware to match my uh, accessories and jewelry. And I just like that warm tone a bit more. But this hat is so beautiful. It has that monogram canvas detail on the side with the button. So cute. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like this hat or any other Louis Vuitton hats? Please let me know. So if you guys saw my other video where I talked about my best and worst purchases of 2022, you guys may know that I picked up an Hermes bucket hat as well. And the funny part about that was I had never used that hat. Um, and I picked it up because I really like the bucket hat styles or wide brimmed hats, especially for summer. I just think it's really flattering as well as fairly good sun protection, which is important to me because I use retinol as well as other kind of sun sensitive uh, creams on my face. So I wanted a replacement because I have been using the same Woolrich hat, which is my absolute favorite, but I'm afraid it's going to wear out. So I wanted some alternatives to kind of switch out of for a different vibe. And I was kind of just in a monogram mood when I picked this up, but I didn't want something that's too monogram. And I know this looks kind of, it's a lot of monogram, but I felt that the black or the, the gray scale made it a little bit more subtle and easier to pair with other things. I would also love to get this in perhaps beige. You guys know I love my brown tones and beiges. So that's probably what's up next on my radar if they ever make one like that. So what do you guys think? Do you guys love a monogram hat? As I've said before, I feel like the Louis Vuitton monogram is kind of a neutral, at least to me and my aesthetic. Um, yeah, so what do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments below. And I have a lot of other unboxings to share with you guys. So until next time, bye bye, Janet. Ding ding. Do, 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 do. Thanks for watching. Come again. Bye bye.